black power, black power, black power people. This is Underground Warrior TV. First time coming into my channel. Please mash up the like, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell at the bottom so you always be in the crosshairs when I drop one of these videos. Bam. You know, every time I come on um, this channel, I try to give you um, my knowledge of how I see things in life. And some people don't agree with my premises or my theses that there is a mandate to eradicate black people from the planet uh, since we came to uh, North America as uh, slaves, uh, prisoners of war. Um, it's been a mandate to get rid of us through the eugenics movement here in America. And um, by any means necessary, um, to stop the rise of black people and stop the rise of the population of black people. Uh, Global 2000, if you looked at a Global 2000, a Henry Kissinger um, and the boys of this government, you know, they all agreed to depopulate the third world countries such as Africa and also depopulate the rise of black people in this country. And they will go to any extent, even using your people against against you. Well, I raise questions to this video that I view. It came across me through email. I looked at the video and I, you know, I broke it down. I scrutinized it. I analyzed it in my final analysis that there's a lot of self-hate in this video. This particular video is a black woman expressing her feelings towards black men and how white, I mean, how white men has been in their lives forever. And it's nothing new. You're right. There's nothing new, black woman, because your first encounter with the white man was nothing nice. Was nothing romantic about being cut from your uterus so that your baby could fall out to the ground. There's nothing nice about being raped by someone that is from a different culture, some weird people you've never seen before. I'm about to show where this black woman who made this particular video that I'm about to show you next, where you can tell she's been miseducated. You can tell there's some retardation there, and I don't mean to use that word retardation, but it's got to be something that your mind caused you to spew things out your mouth that you shouldn't spew out your mouth being from that people. You're anti-black man, speaking ill of the black man, but you born from a black man. You came from the origin of black people, which is the original people of the earth. If you knew your history, black woman, you wouldn't speak in that manner. So since you don't know your history, in history of the Caucasian man, I'm going to give you a history of the European men, how European men saw you in the beginning, his first encounter empathy with the black woman. We're going to go to the core of the white hate that was spewed against you, black woman, in the beginning of time. So let's ride, y'all. Let's ride. Let's ride. I'm going to show y'all, you know, that this black woman that made this particular video have a lot of self-hate, Stockholm Syndrome, Stockholm Syndrome is a prognosis. I diagnosed her with Stockholm Syndrome.
It has nothing. It has nothing to do with black men trying to get them into shape, trying to make them be better men, or just trying to make them think that we're going somewhere, knowing we ain't going no damn where. Ain't nobody got time to play those kinds of games. A black man has nothing that I want. The majority of the women that's over here that we fuck with on some real shit, they are not with black men. And it's been that way for many, many years. It's not something we just woke up last week and say, oh, I think I'll divest. I think, let me try something new. I think I'll just date a man of a different race because I ain't got shit better to do. Nobody just woke up and said that this has been uh, something that we decided to do for a long fucking time. It's a lifestyle. It has nothing, it has nothing to do with black men trying to get them into shape, trying to make them be better men, or just trying to make them think that we're going somewhere, knowing we ain't going no damn where. Ain't nobody got time to play those kinds of games. A black family. Make sure y'all mash up the likes, share this video. You know, Underground Warrior TV, you know, we don't miss nothing. You know what I mean? But anyway, I had to uh, expound a little bit on this video that I saw and heard, and I know y'all seen this video. Um, I want to expound on it, how the agenda is just right out in our face. It's easy for us to see. They're trying to push the agenda the black woman carries the white man's seed. Not a seed is going to be taught when it's older to go back and uh, have sexual relationship with white people. So you got to understand this is genetic survival. This is right in your face. And you got to understand our sisters, they've been up under so much oppression of the white man, the European, the Neanderthal, have oppressed black people so much. You know how you come in contact with your enemy and you start loving your enemy? Black women have stalk home syndrome. Black women have stalk home syndrome. You got to understand, black man. You got to understand when you hear sisters like this, they're really hurt. And they know they're doing something wrong because if they feel strong about being in a relationship with that European, that caveman, why you got to voice your opinion? Why you got to be boisterous to let everybody know black men ain't shit? Okay, we understand we ain't shit. Why you got to put it out there like that, you know? So something telling me that you think you're doing something wrong, so you're trying to come up with an excuse, but your excuse is not enough. You should never turn your back on the original man, the first man to the planet. You don't know your history. You don't know who you are. You hate yourself. You have Stockholm Syndrome. See, I want to take us down a little history to understand the bombardment, the psychological effect of slavery, oppression, the psychological effect of those who have the money now, those who have the power, who strip black people of their riches, royalties. Now they call themselves royal, stole your royalties. Now they can paint images of the black man and a negative image to give the little black girls the caption of a negative image of a black man. They will no, never show you the alpha black man on TV. 
You don't even know that the alpha black man exists. You feel what I'm saying? So therefore, you have fell captured to your enemy snare. Your enemy taught you how to hate your essence, your black skin. You the one sound stupid making such video. If one was in love with a particular people, you do not have to voice your opinion loudly why black men can't do nothing for you. I understand the enemy paints the image of a black man negativity. The black man is the white man, Europeans, natural born enemy. We are foes. When they kidnap our people, 400, 500 years ago, that was an act of war. So those who on top, they got to paint this negative image and they got to do something about the strongest gene on the planet. They got to do something about the strongest gene on the planet. Control the seed of the black man. Lock him up. Kill him. Never give black people reparations because economic empowerment is economic freedom. Those who enslaved our people are scared to death to empower us economically. That's why any black entertainer, any black entertainer, any sports figure that's black, if he come back to the black neighborhood and try to uplift that neighborhood economically, they will oust him, cancel him, maybe delete him from the planet. This is genetic survival and white people are playing the ball. You know what I'm saying? Like it's supposed to be played. Black people are so dumb. You got dumb sisters making such video. Who pushed this trash? Let's go back in history, y'all. Let's talk about Sarah Bartman. Who knew about Sarah Bartman who was born in 1789 in Goose River, in South Africa, what is now known as East Cape. She belongs, she used to belong to the cattle herd group of Koko people or Koi Koi people. This sister from South Africa. I want you to check out the trauma that the European took her through. The trauma, the degrading. You feel what I'm saying? This type of behavior is being promoted through Lizzo. And I'ma tell y'all how this parallel, how the white man can take a sister like Lizzo and strip her down. You know what I'm saying? This They promote this negative images of black women, but all of a sudden, this black female makes this type of derogatory video didn't know that conscious black men are aware. Don't know that conscious black women would never dare stoop to her level. There's some sisters out there that would never, never stoop to her level and all praises to real black women. Let's give praises to all real black women who would never turn their back on the king. She knows her history. She know her how to eat. Her diet is strict. Her hair is real. You feel what I'm saying? And she always got the black man's back no matter what. Even through slavery, we gotta get a black woman out her props. She was with us through slavery. But now, the European has all the money. He got that money bag. And that sister would sell you out. She would get with a European, a caveman. Because the caveman may be a lead to economic empowerment. But she's still treated less than human. But she takes that type of abuse. Because I told you, sisters that make videos like this need to see a psychiatrist. They suffer from what they call Stockholm 
Syndrome. Sarah Bartman, the sister who grew up on a colonial farm where her family most probably worked as servants for the Dutch. Her mother died when she was age two. Her father was a cattle driver, died when she was uh, older, like an adult. Sarah married a Khoi Khoi man from her tribe, a man who was a drummer. They had one child together who died shortly after birth. Due to colonial expansion, the Dutch came in conflict with the Khoi Khoi people. As a result, people were gradually absorbed into labor system. When she was 16 years old, Sarah's fiance was murdered by the white man, the Dutch colonist, colonist. Soon after she was sold into slavery to a trader named Peter William Caesar, who took her to Cape Town, where she became a domestic servant to his brother. It was during this time she was given the name of uh, Saji, a Dutch diminutive for Sarah. See, right there, they looked at her less than human. They changed her name, diminutive, to make it small, like she's a small, insignificant human being. So this is what the black woman went through when the European mistreat her. This is what the white man done. You know, so you gotta understand why she loves the white man today. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. Stockholm Syndrome. The definition of Stockholm Syndrome feeling of trust or affection felt in many cases of kidnapping or hostage taken by victim towards captor. What is Stockholm Syndrome? Simple term. Stockholm Syndrome is coping mechanism to a captive or abusive situation. People that develop positive feelings, feelings towards their captors or abusers over a time. Stockholm Syndrome is a coping mechanism to a captive or abusive situation. People develop positive feelings towards captors or abusers over a time. Over a time. Black people, we've been up under oppression for the last 500 years. And we don't want to be free. There's no one really wants to be free from white supremacy because if we really want to be free, we'll be free. Now, it's more of us. Check around. It's more of us than them. We outnumber white people 11 to 1. You have learned to love your enemy. So when you hear video and hear such vile emotional deranged speech coming from the black woman how she denounces the black man the original man the man that made every race up on the planet denounce her father denounce her brother denounce all black men around the world and she come from black people that is retardation Stockholm Syndrome you feel what I'm saying this is why this video had to be pushed see the woman who made the anti black man video you can feel and hear the hurt and pain of self-denial or who she is. You feel me? See, Sarah Bartman, large buttocks, seemed weird, 
unusual to them. She was an object of fascination by colonial Europeans who presumed that they were racially superior to her. Dunlap wanted Sarah to come to London and become an oddity for this place. She became, you know, uh, obscene. But people wanted to see this woman's curvy body. They never seen someone of that magnitude. You feel what I'm saying? So this is the first introduction that the black woman had with the white man. So I think if this sister knew her knowledge of who she was as a person and as as who she is as an African, then she would have never came out of her mouth with that vowed information, misinformed information about the black man, since the black man can't do nothing for her. The black man can give her those black babies that can outpopulate the white man. See, that's the danger the white supremacy don't want to see because you got to understand, I told you, death rate overlaps the birth rate of white people. White people are dying faster than they're being born. And it's the opposite with black people, despite the fact we're economically being held captive. You feel what I'm saying? We're making more babies quicker than we are dying. You can look this statistic up and it's scaring the shit out of white supremacy. That's why you got sisters like this who's been brainwashed. You 20 years old, 30 years old, you may be already brainwashed. 40, you know what I'm saying, 50. Everybody's up under some type of trance. You know, you got men dressing crazy. You got drill music that's crazy. Trap music that's crazy. The motherfucking politicians are crazy. The whole fucking world is going crazy. Entertainers are now coming out speaking, you know, about this racist, demonic system. The wave of information is just out here for a sister to make a video like this and she haven't not got to the real information about who she is as a black woman and who black people are. That is retardation with all this wave of information and you don't know who you are. That's retardation. So the sister don't know the hideous things that was done to our sister Sel Bartman. You feel what I'm saying? You talking about they took the sister to London. English men and, and women paid to see Sarah half naked body displayed in the cage. They have my sister in the cage. You know what I'm saying? She came, she became an attraction for people from various parts of Europe. They coming all over the world to see this black woman's body. Cause they never saw nothing like this. See sisters, you are you are amazing. You are shocking and, and amazing. You know. But they always use you, black woman, as a tool. You're being used as a tool. Right here, Sarah Bartman is being used as a showcase animal to appease white folks. So that video that you made, black woman, about denouncing being anti-black man and all that, you appease those people. You know what you're doing. You, you know what you're doing. You're trying to appease some people, but you're ignorant doing it. Ignorance is a bliss. Maybe you'll learn something after I drop this. This knowledge on your head. Now this chump done laughed. And Hendrick Caesar were getting in trouble lightweight from the authorities because, you know, there was a campaign at the time going through Britain uh, to 
denounced slavery. But y'all know what that was about. That was about genetic survival. They didn't want to bring too many Africans into Great Britain. Uh, the African may outpopulate them and they was getting scared that the, the, the African may overtake them and overcome them. So they want to stop, you know, the uh, international, the international uh, uh, slavery operation. You know, they want to stop the international operation of slavery. You feel me? Uh, but within the uh, confines of Europe, you probably could still um, participate in some type of trade with the side, the, the borders of Europe. Uh, anything outside of Europe was supposed to be uh, uh, breaking the law if they caught you trying to international import black people from Africa into uh, Great Britain or America or other parts of the Western world. You feel what I'm saying? So the authorities want to know what was going on because they heard about this attraction of the sister being displayed as a, as a freak show. You feel what I'm saying? But they checked into it. They took him to court. Uh, the chump, um, Dunlap and, and, and Caesar, you know what I'm saying? It was no real consequences at trial. They produced a document, a document that had allegedly been signed by Sarah Barkman in her, in her own testimony, which claims she was not being mistreated. Her crime chart was, however, amended. She became entitled to better condition and greater profit share and warm clothes. Because at first, they weren't giving her no money. They still didn't give her no money. She was left like in cages outside like caged to next to animals and stuff like that. That's how they treated the sister. You know what I mean? She did four years in London, y'all. In September 18, 14, she was transported from England to France and upon her arrival, the dude Hendrix sold her uh, to another person. And this dude he showcased animals. This is how he made money. He exhibited her around Paris and weep financial benefits from the public fascination with Sarah's body. He began exhibiting her in a cage alongside baby rhinoceros. Her trainer would order her to sit or stand in some way that circus animals are ordered. This is your introduction, black woman. This is the black woman's introduction with the Europeans, with the Caucasian white man. And she wants to sit up here and make videos, anti-black man videos. Some people open up their mouth. The term, open up your mouth before you think. Think before you open up your mouth. Do some research because you sound retarded. And I hate to pinpoint this, but you're not going to sit up here and make anti-black man remarks. If you were white, Puerto Rican, or any other race, I wouldn't really care what you say. But other black little girls got to hear your misinformed information about black men. A circus animals. This is what they did to Sarah. She was completely displayed naked wearing little more than a tan lion claw. She was only loud that due to her insistence that she covered was culturally sacred. She was nicknamed Hattaten Venus. Even though she couldn't read or write, she talked fluently in French, 
She talked fluently in English. She protested that she wanted to be covered. She wanted her sacred parts to be covered. This was a dignified black woman. They have took this black woman and nicknamed her Hattatan Venus. See, she was from the Hattatan tribe, but they call her the Hattat Venus. If you know anything about the Hattatan women, they have large buttocks, small waist, large buttocks. We see sisters like that every day in the hood. That don't drive us to this, you know, don't drive us that crazy. We may look, you know, but the European, you know, it drove him crazy. But this sister making videos denouncing black men. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This, this, you know, this is this just this, this is what's going on today, y'all. You know, the anti-black man movement, you know, make the black man feminine, you know. This is that new world order type shit. Fear of a black planet. White man genetic survival. This is what this is all about. See the sister who made this anti-black man video that I showed y'all. She don't know how the black woman was treated less than human. You feel what I'm saying? They passed Sarah Bartman around like, you know how when you was a young man and your mother wouldn't let you keep a dog. She made you, she let you keep it for a couple of days. You had to take the dog to your friend and then he took it to a friend. They passed the dog around. This is how they passed Sarah Bartman around. This is how the white man looked and viewed the black woman. You feel what I'm saying? Now you remember in the story that I said that Dunlap and the dude Caesar sold her into France to a guy named Ro. I'm going to tell you what Ro did. Ro, he displayed animals. This was his livelihood. So, he constantly displayed it and attracted the attention of another motherfucking white man. He, Because he kept, you know, making money from this sister. So, he attracted other crazy, demonic uh, perverts. These are real live perverts. You feel what I'm saying? So, the black woman in this country has been taught R. Kelly is symbol of the black man as a rapist. Bill Cosby, Kobe Bryant, Tupac the Shakur. They set all these brothers up. So, black women who view these black men in the news media, which is owned by the same white supremacists who's trying to diminish the black men around the planet. So when you see things like this, you can't believe in feeding to these brothers are guilty without doing some real live research. We don't never do no research. We just run with white supremacist information, which is called slave plantation information. And this was wrong with the sister that made this video. She's acting out her slave plantation information. So the chump wrote, he attracted the attention of a chump named George Kyver, a naturalist. He asked Roe if he would allow Sarah to be studied as science specimen. You see what I'm saying? This is the sickness of the Caucasian man. But the sister came out her mouth. I did not tell her that. I didn't tell her to do anything like that. You should not put nothing like this on social media knowing 
that the rebuttal was coming. And this is my rebuttal. I just hit her in her mouth with the real. She put her foot in her mouth when she tried to come out and be anti-black man. Alpha black man exists. I know they don't put it in the media. You don't hear about the alpha black man who's a family man who goes to work every day, take care of his family. You don't hear about the alpha black male that's inside the home of his house, headed of the household, spending time with the children, whatnot. You don't hear about the black man brilliant enough to make inventions that got stolen by the same white man that you uphold. The major things that you see that you use in the day been invented by black men, such as the cell phone. Check it out. <laughs> you feel what I mean? But she running around here with this anti-black man psychology. You know what I'm saying? So this Chuck George Curver, man, he was a scientist. He wanted to break her down, try to study how she get that big butt. You know what I'm saying? So, he asked Roe, man, if he could, you know, study her as a science specimen, to which Roe agreed as from March 1815, Sarah was studied by French autonomous zoologists, phys- phys- physiologists. Kyver concluded that she was a link between animal and human. This is how the white man is still view you, sister, a link between animal and human, but we know you much more. But this is how they view you. This is your introduction to the white man. Since you want to make these anti-black man videos. Thus, Sarah was used to help emphasize the stereotype that Africans were over sex and lesser race. Just because this sister had a nice body, she was over sexed. Because you know, today, even some of our young black girls develop faster than females of the same age. That don't mean that we're oversexed. We're just another genetic type. We're the original genetic type. You the prototype. We're the originator. We are the originators. So they, they didn't understand that the black people are the original people of the earth. So we have a whole different genetic makeup. You feel what I'm saying? We are it. We are the people of the book that they talk about. You feel me? God's chosen people. So she would never, this woman who made this video would have never made this type of video. I'm telling y'all, if she would have had the knowledge of herself. Sarah Bartman died, y'all, in 1816 at the age of 26. It is unknown whether she died from alcoholism, smallpox, pneumonia. Kyver obtained her remains. Kyver obtained her remains from a local police, dissected her body, and made a plastic cast of her body, pickled her brain and genitals, and placed them in a jar, which was placed on display at a museum until 1974. What kind of shit is this? And you, sister, making these anti-black man videos and you don't know the sickness and the perversion of European people? But you land up at night with a European? A black man can't do nothing for you, but a black man just gave you some knowledge today. A black man just gave you some knowledge today. You better pick up on what I'm saying before you run around and run into an alpha black sister. 
we got some sisters out here, man, who got that knowledge of themselves. And this is not an indictment towards all black women. Not even black women that date outside their race. But I'm talking about the black woman who date outside her race. It has to belittle and diminish and try to demoralize black men. That's who I'm talking to. That's who cage I'm rattled today. I want to rattle her cage today. Because she the one made that type of video. You feel what I'm saying? So after the sister died, man, they made a plastic cast of her body and had her on display where they could look at her buttocks forever. They had her in a museum until 1974. The story of Sam Bartman resurfaced in 1981. You feel what I'm saying? With a dude named, uh, white guy named uh, Stephen J. Uh, Gold, a uh, pale knowledgeist, wrote about her story in his book. You know what I'm saying? Where he criticized racial science. You know, they had this sister in a museum. Following the African National Congress victory in South Africa election, check this out. President Nelson Mandela requested that the French government return the remains of Sarah Bartman so that she could be laid to rest. This process took about eight years. Wow. These sick people had her body still on display. It was said that men, white men, were masturbating and watch her dead body on display. That is the perversion that you're living with, sister. You don't know the genetic makeup of what you're laying up with. But you want to sit around and make all these anti-black man videos. You don't even have the knowledge. The history of European people first encountered with the black woman. It wasn't nothing nice. It wasn't nothing nice. The remains of Sarah Bartman. That is crazy. Nelson Mandela requested the French government return the remains of Sarah Bartman so she could be laid to rest. The process took eight years as the French had to draft carefully a, wor a worded bill, a worded bill that would not allow other countries to claim treasures taken by French. Finally, on the 6th of March, 2000. Two, Sarah Bartman was brought home to South Africa where she was buried August 9th, 2002, worded. Woman's Day, on Woman's Day public holiday in South Africa, Sarah was buried at Hanky, at Hanky East Cape Providence. See, that's what I'm talking about. Fam, you know, we got other stories you know, uh, sisters being killed and mistreated by the European, like, uh, let's talk about this particular other incident of this sister that was executed. Yeah, taken to the elected chair. This was done by white men. I want to show this sister her first encounter as a black woman with the European man. And maybe she would take this video down. You feel what I'm saying? This anti-black man video down. Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to be on her. You know what I'm saying? I'm on her. Yeah, Lena Baker, a black woman from Georgia was executed and you know by the judicial system of the white man 
Lena Baker, June 8th, 1900, was her birthday. She died March 5th, 1945. She was an African-American maid in Georgia, Cuthbert, Georgia, United States. She was wrongly convicted of capital murder of a white man, Ernest Knight. She was executed by the state of Georgia in 1945. Baker was the only woman in Georgia to be executed by by electric chair. In 2005, 60 years after her execution, the state of Georgia granted Baker a full unconditional pardon. Listen here, y'all. This story is deep. This dude, Ernest Knight, hired this sister to take care of him until he get his leg together. He had broke his leg. And this dude used to lock her into his house, rape her repeatedly, and she escaped, go home and stuff like that. He would get in his car and get some people to round her up and get caught with her. And back in 19, 40s interracial dating was not a law that you can just think you can uh, duck it was against the law you could not duck this law so he would get caught with her he would be released and she would go to jail He kept kidnapping this sister. So she didn't want to work for him no more. He would go kidnap her. So one particular day he kidnapped her and he tried to shoot her. They wrestled with the gun and it went off and he died. They know for a fact, they got records, witness of him kidnapping this sister, taking him to his house, taking her to the house his house. But we got ignorant black women today getting out some black men. But sisters, this is your introduction to the white man. You feel what I'm saying? I'm always coming, y'all. to smash falsehood. Anytime I hear falsehood, it's my duty as a black man to crush it, stump it out. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm stumping out this falsehood that the sister is trying to promote. It's it's the agenda. It's the agenda to stop the rise of black people. That's what this agenda is about. So I'm killing her agenda with the real. You feel me? Mash up the like, share this video. I'm out of here. Underground Warrior TV.